The next time you go to the drugstore or the supermarket, pay attention to the people around you. They are people forcing the store to lock up diapers, oil of Olay. Organized gangs are operating and costing every shopper $435 a year, and ABC's Pierre Thomas is on the lookout tonight. Check out the guy with the neck brace. He shoplifts an item in the blink of an eye. Watch again, subtle but quick. Slip the item right in his neck brace. Near Tacoma, Washington, a two-woman team of thieves target a Safeway. They fill their carts with diapers and Tide detergent and make a brazen getaway. Just last week, a shoplifter steals $1,000 worth of organic steaks and lamb chops. There he goes, strolling out of the store with a suitcase packed with gourmet meat. Retail stores may be losing more than $30 billion a year to shoplifting, with an 11% spike in losses from 2010 to 2011. The new trend, organized gangs sending in shoplifters to target scores of stores. They're typically after small, easily concealable, pricey items everyone wants or needs. Many of the items stolen are personal products. Whitening strips like this, which can sell for up to $50 per pack, are popular targets. And surveillance cameras are capturing thieves stealing items up and down the aisles. Items that might surprise you. Early pregnancy tests, baby formula, Rogaine, razors, batteries, and Red Bull. And in case you get caught, Tylenol Extra Strength. And the thieves make a fat profit, reselling the stolen items to black market buyers, sometimes at half the price. These items are sold at greatly reduced price when you're talking about flea markets and fence operations. You may have noticed your supermarket fighting back expanding the use of surveillance cameras and electronic alarm tags, and they're locking up more common household products. Problem is, the thieves just look for the next hot item. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington.